Welcome to this Heligo Charters Private Limited Dolphin Helicopter Safety Briefing to familiarize you with the location and use of safety equipment and specific safety procedures. As per current regulations, all flights originating from or terminating in Indian territory are non-smoking flights. Mobile phones and other electronics must stay switched off in flight. Your baggage shall be loaded into the aircraft by the helideck team. Don your life jackets at the designated spot at a safe distance from the helicopter. Life jackets are mandatory for all flights over water and contain safety devices like belt, spray hood, sea activated lamp, etc. They are worn either like a waistcoat or a garland. Various chest or crotch securing straps are then snap clipped and tightened. If your life jacket in your aircraft is different from the one demonstrated here, an on the spot instruction will be imparted while embarking the helicopter. On getting a thumbs up from the pilot, walk to the helicopter under the direction of the passenger coordinator or helicopter landing officer. Approach only from the 2 o'clock or 10 o'clock sectors and stay clear of the rear section of the aircraft as that is the dangerous area. Do not carry any loose articles like pens, bags, laptops, papers, files and unsecured items of clothing and headgear in the vicinity of the helicopter. You are now ready to board the helicopter using the steps and handholds provided, employing a step and grab technique. While embarking, take care not to hold or shake the pilot seats. Also, do not touch the red external operating handles of the life rafts on the frame between the two passenger doors. Settle down comfortably in your seat and first click connect the untwisted seat harness lap straps into its quick release coupling. Tighten the lap straps to a snug and comfortable fit and tuck away the loose ends. Only then, attach the shoulder straps to the quick release coupling and tighten those. Remember that a single swift rotary motion of the quick release coupling will release all the seat harness straps simultaneously. Ensuring an erect posture, passengers must remain physically braced and mentally alert in the flight. Passengers sitting behind the two pilot seats must keep their knees clear of them since these seats can move in a fore and aft direction. Passengers must, at this time, orientate themselves with their primary and alternate emergency exits and mentally revise the operation methodology. Passengers at window seats must ensure that their limbs are clear of door pinch points. After passenger embarkation, HLO team members shall firmly and smoothly close the passenger and cargo doors to preclude damage to the aircraft structure. The HLO checks that all safety catches and telltale flags on both sides of the aircraft are in the correct position and orientation and walks away to the designated safe position and gives a thumbs up to the pilot. While other passengers don ear defenders, the lead passenger communicates to the pilots via his intercom headset and conveys that the passenger doors are correctly closed and locked and the telltale door flags clear and that the correct number of manifested passengers are strapped in and ready for flight. Passengers are not to release their safety harnesses or touch door handles and safety equipment during the flight. This not being a closed cockpit, any loud conversation amongst the passengers can distract the pilots during flight. All relevant information must however be swiftly conveyed to the pilots through the lead passenger. Post landing, passengers are to continue to stay strapped up in their seats and await instructions for safe disembarkation by the HLO or the pilots. Only after the anti-collision lights are switched off and the pilot gives a thumbs up, shall the HLO team approach the helicopter and direct passengers away via the designated 2 o'clock or 10 o'clock sectors. On intimation by the pilots of impending forced landing or ditching, Passengers are to assume brace position by adopting seated fetal position with foreheads on knees, both hands gripping the nape of the neck and with feet flat on the deck. The helicopter has emergency floats on either side and these deploy by pilot action or automatically in case of an emergency water landing. 
these floats give additional buoyancy to enable a safe exit. If the helicopter capsizes while ditching, carry out an emergency egress procedure as taught and practiced during helicopter underwater escape training. This helicopter has exits for emergency use. By operating the red levers under the snap-off, perspex guards of the front passenger door hinge frames, these doors can be jettisoned. The perspex windows of the passenger rear sliding doors can be jettisoned by pulling off the rubber beading from the window using the red ribbon tag and then firmly pushing the window outwards. In case of a hard landing on a solid surface, egress is also possible through these emergency exits should the doors become deformed. In an emergency water landing, two life rafts can be remotely ejected and inflated by the pilots using internal operating D-rings. Passengers on front row window seats must keep their feet clear of these D-ring assemblies. Raft inflation can also be done by using external D-rings located on the frames between the passenger doors. Once ejected clear, life rafts stay connected to the helicopter by a lanyard to facilitate handling and boarding. Sharp objects like headsets, spectacles and work shoes must be discarded before abandoning the helicopter to board the life raft. Passengers must jump into the water one by one. Life jacket inflation is done only after exiting the aircraft using the red operating tabs. Inflating life jackets inside the helicopter can be lethal as it may even preclude escape from a sinking helicopter. The oral inflation tube of the life jacket can also be used for topping up the air in the jacket by mouth. Use the lanyard to reach the life raft safely. After all passengers board, the connecting lanyard must be cut off using the safety knife located in the life raft, taking care that neither the life raft nor the individual life jackets get inadvertently punctured in the process. The pelt is to be used only under extreme emergency conditions on positive direction from the crew. When activated, it transmits a distress signal to a satellite, thereby intimating your position and state of distress and thus enables initiation of SAR. Using one pelt at a time will prolong collective battery life and increase chances of detection and rescue. Unauthorized removal or activation of a pelt is a punishable offence and each set is individually identifiable by the satellite. The helicopter also has a crash position indicator which can be remotely operated by the pilots or may self-trigger under certain critical emergencies. A spray hood with a transparent window is incorporated into the life jacket to provide protection from sea spray in choppy seas, while a seawater activated lamp on the life jacket increases nighttime detection by SCR units. The helicopter is also equipped with an AIS SART, which when deployed in the raft by the pilots accords better distress signal receptivity by the SCR units. Two, portable fire extinguishers are placed near the right-hand pilot seat and the middle passenger seat doors to cater to minor electrical short circuits in flight. However, the usage will invariably be ordered by the pilots. A first aid kit is placed in the aircraft to cater to minor injuries. The operation of all safety procedures and emergency equipment is also illustrated in the passenger briefing cards placed in the helicopter for in-flight reference and review. We wish you a safe and enjoyable flight with Heligo Charters Private Limited. Bon voyage!